got to find a way out of here. Strange being in the field again. I was undercover for so long, locked in a life of comfort at Croft Manor. Here there is no comfort at all. The air is frozen, the food is canned and cold. The company, aside from Constantine, is abysmal. But I asked to be here. I need to be here. I do not have the luxury of time or patience. Constantine and I begin this journey together. I will be there when he fulfills his destiny. So for now, I'll breathe deep. I'll let the cold air burn my lungs. I'll let it remind me that I'm still alive. And let it fuel me for the final push towards our destiny.
as we push deeper into the valley, I find myself staring at the ruins and pondering my own mortality. These structures have been here for ages, waiting for this moment. I can feel their anticipation. The stone itself wants us to succeed. And what is there to stop us? Non-believers, the fearful, and the lost. Those that hid the source from Trinity for so long. We are the very people who would use what's hidden here as it was intended to be used. This world is too corrupt, too rotten, too sick to be saved by any means other than Trinity. We will have our army. A righteous man will lead it. Constantine will be that man. First time in weeks, things are becoming clear. I know, there's something hidden here. The Soviets came looking for it too, and now Trinity and Anna. Anna. God, I still don't quite believe it. All this time, did she watch Dad as well? I've got to keep moving. Find Jacob and join his people. If I can prove myself to them, maybe he will tell me more about this place.
hostile spotted. She's alone. Move out. Make it quick. I'm gonna check it out. As we push deeper into the valley, I feel reassured that this is the work I was chosen to perform. My stigmata itch with sensation. It is a constant reminder of my higher purpose, of my singular position in this higher purpose. I was a child, innocent to the evils of the world. Then, one night, I woke in such pain, a scream on my lips. Blood dripped from my palms when I saw it. I was terrified. It marked me. It meant something. I cannot shirk this mission any more than I can shirk my own hands. Jacob? I think I'm close to the train yard. Are you there? Badge of rank in a military order. Trinity. Took you so long. I thought I lost you back there. Not a chance. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Let's move! 
can get up through there! about it <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think I didn't <sighs> so what makes you risk so much to come here the divine source I know what you're looking for I want to know why. When I was young, it was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist too. In his last years, he was obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him, including me. Our last conversation was a fight. He... He took his own life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but... Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. 
it changed everything. I realized my father was right. He died alone and broken, but he died for something. So you believe the divine source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, it needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. A difference is not always for the best. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Can't. Or won't. I'll fight Trinity with you, but my goal remains the same. If I give up now... You'd feel like you'd be letting him down. Not just him. I need answers, Jacob. I need to understand. You're leaving. Right now, my concern is for my village. It's over the mountain pass. A day's journey on foot. But there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. I'll be back soon. Jacob, are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Overwatch, we have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We've wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange, but almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him, at least for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on.